Hey everyone, this is Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today we're going to show you our first look at the Casio G's One or G Zone. It's a Android smartphone, but unlike many which wouldn't survive a fall or a trip in the water, uh, this is a rugged smartphone. It meets mil spec 10 classifications for dust resistance, vibration, salt, fog, immersion in water, rain, shock, altitude. Basically this is the phone that you want if you live your life outdoors or if you are in a, maybe the construction business, someplace where a phone that will take a licking and keep on ticking is really important. The phone does have some special apps geared right for uh, the adventurer. One of those is our built-in compass so we can get a compass bearing just by tapping the widget there. If we hold down this key on our left hand side right here, we pull up the G's Gear apps. So we have an earth compass which I just showed you, a walking counter, an app that will help you with adventure training, running, um, kind of like Run Keeper it looks like first glance. We have trip memory, we have a built-in thermometer, give us an update on weather and temperature in a few different cities. We can customize this to do it for our city as well. We can look at the tides, a couple different views for each of these. Give us our times down here and show us some levels here uh, in graph form. And we have sun and moon, where I believe we'll get to see sunrise, sunset. Um, pretty nifty looking uh, setup there. And, didn't want to exit that. Pull it back up. And we also have a Stargazer app. And we'll see what this does. Looks like, uh, kind of like uh, the Constellation Finder that you might be familiar with um, from using other uh, Google applications. So those are the apps that are built right in to deliver a outdoors experience. As we look around the device, we have our volume rockers on the upper left, our dedicated G-Zone uh, key, two ports here, or two spots I should say, to use a desktop charger to top off your battery. Then we also have our power button, a spot for a lanyard. Notice the nice red accents go throughout. As we come to the right side, here we have our dedicated camera button, our USB, and our headphone. And each of these are sealed so that you can use the device and even get it in water without getting your phone wet. And we'll actually uh, test that out here. Not in this video, but for our full review we will. Uh, we have a micro USB charger, like is common on most Android phones these days. The battery actually has a lock that you lock in place to keep the water out. Here we have our 5 megapixel camera with a single LED. Get a closer look at some of these screws that give the phone a nice uh, industrial look and feel. One other thing that I wanted to show you is this nifty little quick access bar that is included on the Casio G's One. If we put our finger here and swipe out, we get a nice audible sound to let us know we've activated it and we have quick access to a bunch of different apps. We can swipe it back. Um, one thing that's nice about this is say if you're in the car uh, at a stoplight and you want to do something or you know you're out on a hiking trail you just want to pull up something real quick swipe it open open up the app that you want to be in and you're right there. Uh, a lot of this phone is kind of designed with that quick access in mind. You have not only this bar that you can swipe out, but you also have a lot of dedicated buttons which we have seen kind of going away on certain phones. So you have your dedicated button to launch those uh, special G's One apps and your dedicated camera button. So this phone's definitely designed for someone who wants to be able to go out so outdoors and not have to pay a lot of attention to their phone or where they're taking their phone. You can drop it, get it in water, pretty much abuse it in ways that you wouldn't even dream of 
using something like an HTC Thunderbolt um, and live to tell the tale.